The reports of a hit and run came in just Four after 10 o'clock. Four bicyclist who was There's killed in the area. Right. Show. No other speed in the area. 2021 was the deadliest year on Seattle streets since 2006, with 31 lives lost including 18 people, 58% who were killed in District 2 in South Seattle. This year is shaping up to be just as tragic. These deadly crashes disproportionately claim the lives of black, elderly, and homeless Seattleites. These deaths are preventable with proven solutions that Mayor Harrell's administration can implement yeah. My name is Oscar. I live in District 7 and I'd like to give public comment on Vision Zero. I don't own a car and I rely on the city to provide safe walking, cycling, and transit connections. Last year there were 19 pedestrian deaths, the highest total since 2006. These are not accidents, they're preventable tragedies, preventable fatalities. Over 90% of these occur on Seattle's arterial. Wide, high speed roads hostile to anybody not in a two ton steel box. Seattle needs to get serious about the safety of our streets. It's inexcusable that of the 31 traffic fatalities in Seattle last year, 19 were pedestrians. Not to mention the continued tragedies we've already seen people who walk and bike in tours this year. Our physical infrastructure has to change. This is a city that was built for motor vehicles. Our DOT loves to respond with phrases like maintaining vehicular throughput and traffic flow simulation. When asked why a particular design element to improve pedestrian or bike safety is omitted. But what our DOT is failing to recognize in these requests is that the public does not have the same value system. We don't care about vehicular th throughput and what the traffic flow simulation said. We care that our neighbors are dying because they have the audacity across the street. We need physical infrastructure changes. Reduce the road width. Don't just lower the speed limit. Add physical diverters and traffic coming. Don't just label a street as stay healthy. Put in a concrete barrier. Don't just paint a stripe on the road and call it a bike lane. Put in a curb extension. Don't just put up a sign saying all intersections or crosswalks. Instead of pouring concrete into parking garages and endless highway expansion, let's repair our sidewalks and build out the safest, highest throughput, and according to my traffic flow simulation, least congested transportation system ever invented, walking. Our streets should be designed for people. Those 19 pedestrian lives depended on it, and we failed them. These changes won't simply address the safety crisis on our streets. They will improve the quality of our lives by creating a city where kids can get to school safely, elders can maintain their independence, people with disabilities can have equal access to jobs, and so much more. There are many problems that are outside Mayor Harrell's control. This is not one of them. It's important we act now to realize the change we wish to see.